Jesus is accused of casting out demons using a demon, the prince of demons. He's accused of being possessed himself. And he cleverly responds to his accusers saying that a house that is divided against itself cannot stand. A demon cannot cast out a fellow demon. Jesus is not possessed by a demon. Jesus is casting out demons to demonstrate his power over demons. Of course, a lot of people are flocking to him and these authorities, we may even call them church leaders, are afraid that he might take all the people to himself and they will remain alone. And so in order to discredit him, they accuse him of being possessed himself. Jesus is demonstrating his power over evil. He's demonstrating his power over Satan. The same way that is freeing these people that have been possessed by demons, is the same way that Jesus, when you invite him in our life, can free us from whatever robs us of our peace, whatever takes away the peace from us. Today we pray that Jesus indeed may also visit us in a special way to demonstrate the same power that he demonstrates over these demons in today's gospel. That he may show us his almighty power, that whatever thing that holds us back, whatever thing that makes us lose our sleep, may also be cast out. Because he indeed has power over Satan, over evil. We have to open our hearts to invite him so that he may indeed help us in our own situations. We pray indeed that Jesus may begin with us this day and may end with us. That everything that we do, wherever we are going to be, may indeed be blessed by his presence. Amen.